the release of Teleprompter Pro version 3.13, we're going to go through and redo most all of the tutorials that are in the members area now. So the first the first overview is going to be, you know, once you log in, you are going to be taken to a thank you page, welcome aboard page, which will have, you know, a lot of basic information about navigating around and all of your information as well. If you have signed up for the software as a service, you'll be able to click on teleprompter and this will take you to where you can just go ahead and get started with logging in and starting to record right away. So real simple as that. Just bang, bang, you're in and you can start recording. So I'm going to go ahead and go back because we're going to cover a little bit more here. If you have signed up for the do-it-yourself hosting, then you're going to have a page right there is where you're going to click to download Teleprompter Pro the latest version which you can see it as you see towards the bottom uh it says tpp-v 3.13 zip so i'm going to go ahead and click on that just you may need to right click to save as however probably just clicking on it with most browsers we'll probably go ahead and save it for you fairly small file about 1.7 megabyte download it has been downloaded so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and Take the zip file here and we're going to upload it to our web host. So I'm going to go ahead and switch pages here. If you are upgrading Teleprompter Pro from an earlier version to version 3.1, what I want to tell you is that best thing to do is probably just to delete the directory where you had installed it before, the folder where you had it, and then just start fresh. So what I'm going to do here real quickly is just show you, I've gone here, this is a free web hosting site that I have, this, uh, the file manager, the cPanel area, and I've gone ahead and deleted the prior installation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and upload the file and show you how quick and easy this is. So I'm just going to grab this, pull it right over here, drop it in, bang. So just a little over one megabyte footprint there, so it's it's really, really small. And we have, it's already refreshed and updated. There it is right there. If for some reason, when you go back to cPanel, your file manager, if you do not see this after you upload, just hit the reload, click on reload, and it will appear. So what I'm going to do here, right click, and I'm going to extract into public HTML. This is the folder where I am at public HTML, you can see that. Okay, so now we have all the files inside here. Pretty straightforward. There's a new uh, new file, secure.php. Some of the others are, of course, most of all these have been edited and changed, and there are all different images, different style sheets in there as well. We don't need to go through that right now. I just want to show you how this works. All right, talk to you in the next video.